We are at the fun stage of the pizza making process. We're going to actually stretch our dough and then make our pizza to go into the oven. I recommend that you don't use a rolling pin, especially when you've made your dough and it's rested for you and it's created all those lovely gases. We wanna retain all of those. So how do we do it? We use our hands. I'm gonna demonstrate a really simple technique that you can learn at home. We start an inch in from the bottom and we use our fingers, but we don't point our fingers down. We actually use our fingers flat and we work our way to an inch from the top. The reason why I'm doing this, I'm pushing all the gases into the crust. We want to retain all those beautiful gases that the dough has developed. So then I turn my dough piece over and I go then again from one inch in and all the way to an inch from the top. I then turn it over one more time. So I'm getting now to about 20 centimeters and I then stop. Now the next process is palm down palm up okay so palm down palm up three fingers on the bottom these two fingers touch each other in between the dough and these two fingers will touch each other so we stretch and then we come over palm up and palm down we hold at our forearm we go back down onto the silicon mat palm down palm up now if you notice i started at in this position i've ended in this position so i've pretty much rotated the dough naturally I then go back to the same position again, palm down, palm up, fingers on the bottom, these two fingers touch each other. We stretch again, we go palm up, palm down, and back over one more time. So then I keep going, and this 28 centimeter guide is actually guiding me to what size I need to open this pizza up. So I need to go a little bit more, again, just stretching over, back over, and one more time, stretch over and over, and again, and as you can see, I've reached that 28 centimeter diameter. Now, you probably noticed I didn't use much effort to do this. It was just a really simple and soft motion. You don't have to do it hard. You don't have to rush it. You can go as slow as you want. And actually, a tip, the slower you go and the more gentle you are, the better your product will come out.